Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Zen. Good morning for you. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> My internet just restarted. Oh, okay. Uh, I had a problem to get the game started. That's why I got a little late. But it should be okay now. I think. I hope. Let's go for Mass Effect. I have the game on. We just need to change to this. And yeah, let's go. And yeah, I was doing something with my settings. So if the game is too loud or something, just tell me. So how did your day start? Uh, you were after your exams, right? Did you end the uh, degree? I remember that you told that it's like soonish that you end. Okay, I've done but in between <coughs> in between the thingies I've done almost all quests. So we will just go for the main story and I got 51 levels. I think it's the biggest one I got in a playthrough. So let's go for Ilos. the part and the whole scavenger thing done so I think I do not need to do it in the golden age of Provian Elos was a verdant world of the territory oh I remember this one skipper for now the Alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There's no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. Uh, we are. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. Hello, DJ, and thank you for the lurk. Some work of noble note may yet be done not unbecoming men that strove with gods we'll get home again shepherd i believe you'll lead us through oh captain my captain mm. is my rank all you see when you look at me no i see a strong passionate man with a great ass there are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. This isn't a This con isn't, this isn't. Can I skip this? By the way, our toss will kill me, probably.
Or maybe he will not kill me, I don't know. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> Would you roll your eyes if I said this is the first time in months I felt that all's right in the galaxy? <laughs> yes. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? The new really I cannot wait to play the second game. <laughs> I have it installed, so maybe we'll start today too, but we will see. For now, we need to end this one. My uh, commander. We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? Ger? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard. Come on. Hey, did it. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind we of. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Oh shit! Didn't see that one going. Okay, I need to get my a little up the brightness. Yes, it's a big game. I hope the sounds are okay.
I need to focus a little. That strange effect got me like, what the heck is coming on? But yeah, it's in the game, I thought it's ma it might be some from somewhere else. The heart beating. I hate those guys. At least we can kill them like a little quicker <coughs> than the other guys. Ooh, actually. <laughs> but yeah, the hard beating is really, really uh, high. What is you? Caps, where are you? Okay, I know I need to go there, but where is the entrance? Maybe this way somewhere? Nope. People once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here. So unwelcome. I think I've missed something somewhere. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm going the right way, I think. Because there is some guys to kill. And if you see guys to kill, it's probably the right way.
I'm kind of a badass right now. Oopsie, wrong place. One shot and overheating? Oh my god. Oh yeah, I have the incineration with fingers on them. So the shot is very powerful, but yeah. It's getting cooler very quick, right? for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Mm-hmm. Got them. Oh yeah, I could have used those guys to help me. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. So, chat, how is it going? What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. 
cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Do I need to get back? I don't remember this one. Elevator, quicker, please! my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy? Yeah, kinda. I am sorry. I was swept up. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead as well as anyone inside. All of them? There must be hundreds of those pods. What was Saren expecting to find here? There's nothing left but corpses. You will see. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. Because it, uh, it's not him. Hello girls, how is it going? I have studied the proteins for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. Hello, Viju. You are not Prothean. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system 
with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the ILOS Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. It was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system I'm by system, to remember they the methodically story. wiped us out. The war was lost. <clears throat> if you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans. They betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why did the Reapers leave? Why do they do this? Can, how can I stop them? Uh, I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top-secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Yep. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility, 
and wake the staff when the danger had passed. The genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. But they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the Conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. Yep, the one tries. you call Saren will use the Conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Uh, do I want to know something else? Yeah, about Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack Sovereign the is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, 
moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. The Reapers come from Dark Space? How do they even survive out there? We only have theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter a prolonged state of inactivity to conserve energy. Effectively, they hibernate for the tens of thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. How come nobody noticed the Citadel is a giant mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. That's a good one. And Protein Scientist Keepers... No, let's go. Saren's got enough of a head. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows? This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity... We're in a race to save the galaxy You are right. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. Um, let's go. But yeah, the history in Mass Effect is really good. The cycles and the rest, the Reapers, the... All of the lore in the game is really good for me. that I will get a timer at one point. the quick Get back, my little Mako, please get back. How did it get through an arc?
my god, every time. I need to really look out. Let's heal. Nope. So only the barrier is down. I have full health on Mako. I think this is it. Yeah. So let's save. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Yeah, probably. So yeah, we'll end today the yeah. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Okay. Oh shit, I have only 30 seconds for this. Oh my god. Oh, it was easier than I thought it would be. Oh my god, I am almost dead with the knuckle.
Hello. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Are Okay, this will be probably a stream with a lot of castles. Lock the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Let's go. Give me a second guys, I need to write to somebody. Why does everybody have to write to me after I start the stream? Not before. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, this is probably the right way.
Girls, can you not shoot me, please? Oh, it's only a destroyer. Can you not shoot me, please? The AI for your companions is really stupid in this first game. Ooh, hello. I've lost shields. Squad, uh, sniper rifles, first aid, fitness. Let's go for bigger HP. Let's get this off so we have some on gel so I don't need to. Better armor, okay. We'll take it. Why not? Maybe at least I will not have to like uh, do it thing. Give me a second, guys. I will be back in a second, okay? <laughs> 